All right, just driving up and getting dropped off for our full tour of JDT Stadium, which my understanding is it's owned by the royal family here in Johor. So maybe not surprising that to me, when I look at it, the first thing I see is it looks like a big crown, doesn't it? Right. It's shaped like a king's crown. So let's go tour what looks like a very royal stadium. Let's go. All right, first things first, walking through the main entrance where the players enter. And my understanding is this team is like the Real Madrid of Malaysia. So I feel like a superstar walking through this entrance. So the players lounge is incredibly beautiful. And of course, before the match, the players sit over here and play PlayStation. Naturally, they're playing FIFA on the big screen. <laughs> it's a nice place to play, I think. <laughs> also, side note. It smells very good in the players' lunch. Yeah. True, right? <laughs> All right, so we've been through the players' workout room for the pregame, and we are now right into the players' change room, which, by the way, has some really nice seats. Almost look like a seat of a sports car, although we've been instructed not to sit on them. Very tempting, but we want it. Whoa, check it out, guys. They've got a projection screen here. So the players will sit here before the match. The coach will stand here. And this screen is actually a uh, touch screen. So he can like swipe his hand on the wall and it will slide to the next play or touch one of the players and it will highlight. It's uh, really some high technology. Touch screen projector, something special. Uh, sauna, naturally. And uh, hot tub. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna jump in quick. Jump in for jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> no la. Come on, Saibo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Making the same walk that players would come up through the hallway behind us onto the field. <laughs> nice looking stadium, to say the least. And I think the first part of the tour would have been really good if you were a young footballer or if your children were young footballers because we sort of went through the average experience of what the players do before the game. Uh, it was really exciting to imagine being an athlete. Take nice, right? So they got fake grass here, blue, mm -hmm. which is Joho colors. They said, make sure do not walk on the logo here. This is um, sacred ground over here. And they also said, don't go on the grass, which you'll notice they're aerating. I guess they're taking care of the grass right now. Oh, yeah. You can see they've got some aerating holes and watering it over here. Nice stadium. <laughs> man, there was a time in my life when I was like 15 where I was a good athlete. Not that good, but man, to be a professional athlete would feel so cool. Come out the tunnel and the crowd goes, oh. Saifu, Saifu, Saifu. You know? <laughs> so nice. Wow, check this out, everybody. So they've got a sample piece of grass right here where the players would come off the tunnel and the first thing they would do is rub their feet on this sample grass because uh, you don't want any foreign pollen or foreign seeds from the players' boots to get onto this field and maybe start growing some different type of grass. Evidently, the grass here is uh, bred for football in this climate and they don't want any uh, accidental dandelions growing for instance so truly a world-class stadium and world-class operation behind me that holds 35,000 people Mr. Ahmad Saifu how did you feel being on the field today listen being a world-class athlete like myself takes a lot of work and takes a lot of support team so I did score three goals and I put the team on my back and I single-handedly won the game but I give all the credit to my support my wife she really was a star <laughs> of, the, of the game <laughs> Media room. All right, so we've come to the end of the tour. There are many impressive parts along the way. There was actually a medical room in there that is more like a mini hospital, which was something special. And I really want to give a huge shout out to the lady running the tour. I've forgotten her name, unfortunately, but she was very informative, very engaging, and kept everybody laughing with some good uh, informative humor. There's even a few jokes built into the stadium. So in the visitor's 
uh, warm-up room, there's a custom message written on the wall, a bit of cheeky humor from JDT, letting them know they're probably not going to win. Because my understanding is this team is the perennial champion, and they've got the funding, and they've got the stadium, and they've got the uh, roster to consistently win here in Malaysia. So, we sort of thought there was going to be a Hummer stretch limousine as part of the tour. Evidently, we didn't take that tour, and it's not available today. But I would still say the tour is highly recommended for uh, anyone who loves football, as well as anyone who loves big grand buildings and walking through unique things and just a memorable experience for 60 ringgit Yvonne and I both had a good experience we did miss out on the Hummer but one of the things we've heard is the food at the stadium is incredible mm -hmm. so maybe we can go up there and see if the food is available yes. even though there's no game today let's go check if we can eat some stadium food let's go first time in my life I've been excited to eat stadium food <laughs> generally bad but evidently it's good so let's check it out Oh man, massive bummer. This burger place, people recommended to us to go here. They said the food is so good here, you can go to the stadium just to eat, which is literally the opposite of other stadiums we've been to where people tell us go to the stadium but do not eat the food at the stadium. So we were quite excited to try these wood fire burgers, unfortunately closed for about two hours. Now in conclusion, I will say this. In Toronto, in the next World Cup, we are hosting some of the games because it is hosted by Canada, United States, and Mexico. And to be clear, our stadium in Toronto is not anything like this. So this really is a world-class stadium that is actually ready for World Cup matches. And it was a really, really great tour. Uh, I would recommend it. We missed the Hummer. We missed the burgers. Are we just gonna eat KFC right now, Ivana? KFC? What do you think? Hey, caramba. <laughs> I was so excited for that burger. Darn. <laughs> anyway, guys, the tour, the tour was great. This is not what the players are eating, though. They got their own nutritionist. True. All the way from Argentina. <laughs> and C set up uh, the menu based on your position in the field. So if you're a goalie, your food will be different than if you are a striker. You know? Which is kind of like... True. <laughs> it was mentioned on the tour, and I was like impressed by that. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Every single detail is so thought thought of you know yeah, true for the fact. team true fact that's why they want 10 times champion in malaysia i think <laughs> all right there you have it everybody no hummer no burgers still a good day later <laughs> this tour, i will say the tour guide was very very good thank you sir uh, on a small tour group the yeah. quality of the guide is the quality of the tour very informative very interesting and it was nice to have sort of the players experience thank you pre-game to yes. see the field and then post-game great tour would recommend thank you thank you thank you sir